distance between point lines and planes in R2 or two dimension. This is example two and we are using the same point in all our examples here. Distance from point Q 3 comma minus 2 to the line x minus 3 over 2 equals to y minus 4 over 7. So that's the symmetric form of our line where the direction is given as m direction vector is equals to 2 comma 7 right whenever you want to find the shortest distance you are interested in the normal so the normal vector will be we can interchange it and make one of them negative so we let's make two negative okay so that becomes our normal vector right now in a line what happens if you want to have the shortest distance then what should you do let's say we have a line here right and that's the point given to us let's say this is a point Q and this line has a point 3 and 4 and let's say the line 3 and 4 is somewhere here on the line so we join this correct but the shortest distance is not from Q to the point given right but the shortest distance is here correct how to get that distance you will see this is actually the vector projection of QP right so this is the vector projection of QP on this line and that distance D is the shortest distance which we are interested in right and therefore the formula for shortest distance is so let's try to understand the formula here right the formula for shortest distance is projection of QP right along the normal that becomes the normal right so it's like a projection of QP onto normal vector onto normal do you understand that is the shortest distance and always absolute value of that because this is your normal right this vector which is perpendicular to the line is actually normal to your line and that is the shortest distance correct so how do you find the normal right so to find the normal what you do is you do dot product of this a b cos theta right dot product you know cos theta so if this angle is theta imagine like this right you get q p cos theta which will be this and q p cos theta is q p dot product of n right along this n normal right do you understand i shouldn't write normal actually this i should write unit vector unit normal vector correct so let me make there is a symbol difference if we write like this we mean unit normal right this is a normal vector which could have magnitude of anything correct so so remember that so what we do here is we divide by the magnitude of the normal to get a unit vector and therefore we get our formula right which is pq in our case i'm using point q so i'll write pq for my examples okay so pq dot normal divided by the magnitude of normal right so once i divide the with magnitude of normal i get a unit vector in the direction of normal and the absolute value so that's the formula which we are going to use to get us the answers for all these questions correct so why we know the normal is this right and we need to find dot product with p and q q is this and point p for us is 3 and 4 do you see that so in this case point is 3 comma 4 right and q is 3 comma minus 2 for us is that okay so we'll use this and find the formula and find the this distance d that is what we are trying to do okay i have hope you get all the things together to understand i've taken this two dimensional cases with you now so that 3d becomes simpler but the policy or the principle remains the same okay so so that's how it is going to be right so here it is equals to d is equals to what this 3 minus 3 which is 0 and 4 minus minus 2 which is 6 so I'm writing here as 0 and 6 right dot product of 7 and minus 2 that's my normal right divided by the magnitude of this which is 7 square which is 49 plus minus 2 square which is 4 
and absolute value of this, correct? So if you calculate this, 7 times 0 is 0 and 6 times 2 is 12 with minus sign. But absolute makes it positive. Do you see that? Let me write minus first here and then we'll do positive of this. And this is 53, correct? And absolute value of this is 12 over square root 53, right? At times, it is a good practice to rationalize the denominator, right? So you could multiply and divide by square root of 53 and write down your answer. Perfect. I'll leave it here for the time being, okay? So that is how you find normal, I mean, distance, shortest distance from a given point to the line. It is always along the normal. Remember that. Thank you.